Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the introduction to linear inequalities or the graph of linear inequalities. So in graphing linear inequalities, these are the things you need to know. So to graph, we have the broken line and the solid line. In broken line, we use this if we have the symbol the less than or the greater than. And for the solid line, we use the solid line if we have the less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. And for the word problems, these are the things you need to know in order for you to write the linear inequalities. For the less than, we have is less or smaller than, is below or under, is fewer than, is shorter than, is lower than. For the greater than symbol, we have is greater than or more than, is above or over, exceeds, is larger or longer than, is higher than. And for the less than or equal to, we have at most, is not greater than, does not exceed, does not exceed, has maximum value, is no more than. And for the greater than or equal to, at least, is not less than, is not under, has minimum value, is more than or equal to. Now, in this video, we're going to discuss how to use the broken line and the solid line. Let us graph this example. Y is greater than 2x minus 3. In linear equation, we can graph this using the rise over run. Or simply, it is written in the slope intercept form. We can rewrite as y is equal to 2x minus 3. So this is our b, negative 3, and m, y, uh, 2 over 1. Okay, the things we need to know. So plot negative 3, negative 3, then 2, rise, 1, 2, then positive going right, 1. Now connect the points. Now, how are we going to use the broken line and solid line? Since we have a symbol greater than, and in our broken line, we have the greater than, so we need to use broken line. That means this line is not included. Broken line. Okay, this will be our line, the broken line. Since this is inequalities, what num or what part of our Cartesian plane are we going to shape? So we need to test zero zero. So zero zero. So, 0 is greater than 2 times 0 minus 3. So, 0 is greater than 2 times 0, 0 minus 3. 0 greater than negative 3. Is 0 greater than negative 3? Yes. Okay. It satisfies our inequality at point zero zero. That means if, if it satisfies our point therefore we need to shade the part that is the origin is included so this point okay this will be our graph now to better understand this graphing of linear inequalities we have a part two video i will put it in our uh, end screen or just click the link in our card. Part 2 video, see you in that video. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.